Good evening. May I introduce myself? If it is your wish, I will travel anywhere to meet your request. Auto Memories Doll at your service, Violet Ebergarden. All right. Your apartment radiates a very pleasant atmosphere. Will we be writing in this room? I understand. I will need a minute to prepare my typewriter. That is very kind of you. Thank you. Are you ready to begin? You seem to be in shock. Did I do something wrong? If I'm not to your satisfaction, I can arrange for another doll to take my place. These are prosthetics. I lost both of my arms in the war. Having artificial hands wasn't easy at first. It took a while to learn how to use them correctly, but I can use them just fine now. Don't be sorry. Many of my clients have acted quite similar, and I've come to understand that these kinds of prosthetics are quite an unusual sight. However, if this doesn't bother you, would you be alright with discussing the letter? Let's start with some outlining questions, then. What is the recipient's name? Do you happen to know their current address? How are you and this person related? When have you last talked to them, and did your last interaction end in good terms? I understand. So what would you like to tell the person in this letter? So this is going to be a love letter, then? Yes, I assure you that I am fully capable of fulfilling your request. I have had many clients tell me that I come off as quite cold and direct, but this will not impact the quality of the letter. I promise. Let's begin, then. You may start by telling me how you feel about this person and what you want to say to them. I will try to put your feelings into words. Don't worry. I'm quite proficient with this machine and able to keep up. I understand it can be quite difficult to talk about such complex emotions. I have not been involved with anyone romantically. However, there are a lot of people I keep close to my heart, and there was one person that once said the words, I love you, to me. My major. He taught me to write, and he helped me grow into the person I am today. He always treated me kindly. Because of him, I now have a purpose in life. However, we fought side by side in the war, and I am afraid we both suffered from pretty severe injuries and were separated ever since. I can only hope that he is still alive. I decided to become an auto memories doll to find out why he said those words to me. Before that point, no one else had ever expressed their love to me. I am an orphan. Therefore, I never got the chance to experience love from my parents. I don't remember much from my childhood. As far as I can remember, my only purpose was to follow commands and act as a weapon. 
I'm sorry for bringing your mood down. If you wish, we can speak of more light-hearted topics. I'm glad I could help you view your situation from a different angle. Does this mean that you would be ready to continue? Don't worry. I'm used to long operations. Yes, the tea is very good. Yes. Thank you. May I suggest something? Generally speaking, having too many negative examples in a love letter may impact the way it is perceived. So, instead of describing how hard it is to be away from them, I would suggest how easy it is being around them instead. Yes, just like that. That sounded very beautiful. Is that how you would like to end the letter? What is it that you would like to add? Of course. Would you like me to read the letter to you? Very well. My dearest, do you remember that night under the meteor shower? Meeting you that night made my heart race, and yet, the more I talked to you, the more I started to feel at ease. Despite the wonderful view under the clear sky and billions of sparkling stars, I couldn't help but get lost in your hypnotizing eyes over and over again. I have never felt more connected with anyone before this point, and over the years, my feelings for you have grown to a point where it is no longer possible for me to keep them hidden. I have fallen for you. Colors are more vibrant, food tastes better, and the air feels warmer when I'm around you. Life is simply more joyful with you in it, and I hope that you feel the same around me. I want to be your light in the dark. I will be there for you through the good and the bad times, as long as you'll let me. If it is your wish to have me by your side, meet me on the field on our anniversary, under the same stars that first brought us together. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Sincerely yours. I thought that having you sign the letter by hand would make it feel more personal. How are you feeling about this letter? I am glad to hear that it is to your satisfaction. You seem lost in thought. Are you sure that everything is as you please? I am sure that they will be very happy about the letter. Most people react cheerfully to receiving letters because they make them feel thought of. Yes, I am sure. Would you like to write a letter to anyone else? This would conclude our business, then. We will do our best to get this letter out as soon as possible. Thank you again for the tea. If you are ever in need of help from one of our auto memory dolls, please do not hesitate to contact the CH Postal Company. I appreciate that. It was a pleasure working with you, and I hope that your letter will be received well. Have a good evening.